All right, this is the Smith's machine, so still in my garage. Um, so it's simply a bar attached to a machine, so it's fixed. And this is another way to progress your calf isotonic strength training with a little bit of extra weight. So you can do body weight and then a little bit of extra weight on your shoulders. Once again, I do both calf raises. So you get under the bar, get it on your shoulders, unclick it, go on one leg, and then this is with the knee straight, and then slowly down. So three seconds up, hold it, and then slowly down. So you can progress this one on the step. So you've got your toes on the step, and then you slowly go over the edge of the step. I don't have much weight on this, you don't need much weight. I think really you only need to go up to 10 kilos. And then slowly down. Next one, slight bend in the knee. Up onto the toes. Three second hold. Slowly down. Up on the toes. Three second hold. Slowly down. Up on the toes. Three second hold. Slowly down. So they're the two types. I do straight knee and bent knee once again. Three sets of 10 on the Smith's machine. Do both legs. Um, and that's another way to progress Achilles tendon rehab so that you're really, really pushing it. And it's not just body weight. Like I said, you can add a little step. So often uh, you just put a step on, on your toes and so you drop the heel under the edge of the step so that you're going further into range. All right, I'll show some strength training that you can do at home if you don't have a gym membership, so this is still applicable next. And then next week, I'm gonna go over plyometric training. This is the more dangerous sort of Achilles tendon re retraining and it's definitely sort of the end stage retraining. Uh, so you sort of more, you, you add that in when you're more confident and you're getting there, when you're sort of pretty confident that your yeah, Achilles tendon sort of 80, 90% there. Um, even some, some people I, I, I really delay it uh, and um, sometimes I only just go up to the heavy strength training if I'm a little bit worried um, so I added in very slowly the plyometric training alright okay I'll uh, do one more video today and it's just more to make it applicable at home